Well, today's video is kind of a little bit different than I guess usual. I mean, usually I don't take people into the garden or show it. Like, I don't think I've had a video with my garden at all. But, for those of you who don't know, I have a vegetable garden. I love my vegetable garden. I have eggplants. I have potatoes that are dying, but that's what they're supposed to do if anybody knows anything about potatoes. They grow really big and bushy, then they die down, and once they die down, all that's left is, well, potatoes, but you kind of got to dig a little for them, and I don't want to break anything. Oh, there's a potato. See that? There's little potatoes growing. Obviously, that's just an itty-bitty little guy, but there are going to be a lot of other big ones. This is the original one that I planted, actually. It's something grew off of. And that's the one that's going to rot down. So basically how it works is you put a potato in the ground. The potato then like sends out roots. The roots grow and send out more roots. And then you have little potatoes that start about that big growing on the root system. And then they grow. But the original potato that you put in the ground to plant, it does not produce... It's not an, You can't actually eat the potato. The potato rots away and it just becomes like nutrients for the soil but anyway then I have some dill plant here some beautiful dill plant I'm very pleased with my squash plants this year I got a whole bunch of tomatoes over there that's broccoli that I went to see but I have some peas over there some more tomatoes a nice new fresh fresh batch of potatoes here this is what they're supposed to look like when they're beautiful and fresh and then I actually have some cucumbers hiding in there and then I have a greenhouse over there with stuff and there's lettuce and then we have my corn and this is what I was getting to today the reason I uh, am in the garden today is because somebody else that was not invited into my garden was in my garden yesterday and uh, they actually made a mess of my green onions as well oh, I'm so mad pretty darn sure this was a raccoon. And he just... Ugh! There was a corn that was growing that he just... tore open. There's one, two, three plants that he did not get. But the ones that he did get, he destroyed. Now, I kind of expected this. But I didn't expect them to get at them so soon. Like, I wasn't even thinking about a way to protect them yet. I was thinking he would go at them once they're mature, because that's usually how it works. But he just attacked them before they even reached maturity. And, I mean, there was, like, there was barely any corn. This is what the corn looked like. Look. This here is what the corn looked like. It was just this little tiny thing. And he ripped it out. And, look, what I'm really annoyed about is the mess he made of my green onions under here. I mean, I kind of expected not to have very good corn this year because of the raccoons, but he stepped on all my onions. But yeah, yeah, I don't know why he did it early. We still have these ones. Odds are he's going to come back tonight and kill them, and I'm not really going to do anything about it as long, but no. Look what he's done. He just crushed I just, like, imagine him climbing up this stalk, right? And everybody, know, like, a raccoon's a real heavy animal. So he climbs up this stalk, and then he just, his, his weight pulls the whole thing down, and he just lands on these and crushes them. I'm sure that's what happened. Ah, oh, so annoying. But I'm just surprised he got at it so early. Oh, well. Well, that's today's video. At least she didn't damage anything else. I mean, that's the only thing I could say at the moment. But, ah! See you next time. Bye.